Hey guys, I'm Austin with Forward Defense Concepts. We're out here on the range today. I'm with my buddy Ed, and we're talking about the Radiant Afterburner and Ramjet. We're gonna put it through its paces today, see if it's better than some of those more high quality guns with chunk ports. You know the ones I'm talking about. Let's get out there and uh, try it out. Austin here with Forward Defense Concepts. We're back here at the house. We've broken things down from the range. We've really put the Radiant Ramjet today through its paces. This is what we're kind of focusing on today. Um, again, guys, just so you know, everything is safe and clear here. Um, and we wanted to put this up against some of the larger items that are out there. As you may know, you know, STI has come out with their, um, with their carry comp edition, uh, their staccato now. This is an STI. It's got a giant uh, chunk port on the end of it. Um, this gun right here will run you like 3,500 bucks. And in today's market, you could pretty much go out and you can, you can send your gun out and you can uh, get it um, uh, milled and all that other kind of stuff. Or you could spend $3,500 or so to buy an STI or a Staccato, depending on what you want to go with. Um, and there are some cheaper comps out there. And then there's kind of the Radium, which I would say is kind of a mid-range comp. It, it's mid-range. It's um, MSRP is $389.95. Uh, if you're a law enforcement or a vet, there are discounts available for you. Okay, awesome. Um, so in, so it's not like the cheapest comp on the market no. there, right? But the fit and finish of it is absolutely amazing, right? So I mean, like the lockup and the time on that is just absolutely fantastic. Tell me a little bit about how it was to install this gun or this comp on this. Simple to install. Um, remove the old bar barrel, put the new barrel in. Uh -huh. uh, the comp goes on. There is no threaded barrel, which is great because that there are some states that are illegal to have threaded barrels. Yeah, California makes it like an assault weapon or yep. stuff and like I that. And I think maybe Massachusetts, but I'm not I'm not sure about Mass. Check your laws and your local yep. laws of that stuff, but this kind of gets around that because this is a micro comp, right? Micro comp and it's also advertised legal in all 50 states because it doesn't have a threaded barrel. Fantastic. So you're going to pay for that in the end because it is it is a mid-range on that. Yep. But it's definitely so so it installs just by you put the barrel in and then there's like a little uh, clip or something at the bottom. Yep. What it is is there's a cutout on the bottom of the barrel. And you can see this this is a tapered screw and that's what the tapered screw locks onto the cutout. You know what's really cool about that? That means that there's no timing issues, right? No timing. So you don't need yep. to put shims, you don't need to do any of there's that. There's no shimmings, stuff. it just goes together with no problem. So I know like with some other comps, you, comps, you gotta screw that onto the barrel and then kind of like if you're putting a new um, uh, a new flash hider on your yep, or a break. or a break, they have, to be timed. they have to be timed appropriately. We don't have that problem. There's no timing and it, the clearance was spot on right away. Yeah, so it's, uh, it's kind of hard to get though, isn't it? Very hard to get. So I waited at least three months to get it. I put myself on a couple of different mailing lists to yeah. notify me when they're back in stock. Yeah. And I got the email, purchased it instantly, and a couple hours later, it was out of stock again. You know what's crazy? If you're going for a gun like this, um, their, their wait time is absolutely massive for an STI or a Staccato. Um, I keep saying STI because that's the old company. They changed over to the name Staccato, but to get their version of this, which I think is like the XC, or something like that with your chunk right. port um it, it's going to take you months of waiting even if you order it's going to take months before it gets there much like triarch or any of those other companies uh it's going to take a very long time before you get that but people are going to this because it's the hotness and it's the 2011 but a lot of people are glock owners they buy a 500 dollars glock um they love it they love shooting glock but they want something that's a little bit more time do we put this thing through its paces um versus this sti and a ported Glock 19C, yep. um, which you guys have seen in some other videos that we've done. And uh, how'd you think that shot? I, I love how it shoots. Um, very biggest, flat. Very flat. Biggest difference to me is compared to my duty weapon and this, I don't lose my red dot in the win window in this. Yeah, because we did also put it up against uh, your uh, th your work gun, correct? Yep. So that's just, a, that's just a standard Glock 17 with a red dot on it. No compensator, no porting, anything Not, like that. But same red dot. But the exact same red dot. And we saw a bit more rise in the gun, didn't we? Yes, and I, I do lose the dot on that. Just momentarily, it just goes above the window. With this, I don't. I can see the dot the whole time. And that's the biggest noticeable difference to me. Yeah. 
So another really cool thing about this gun um, that's marketable is that it fits in multiple different holsters, right? Yep. Um, so the barrel and comp combination are sold together, you can't buy them separately, are available for the 19 Gen 3, 4, and 5, and also the 45 Gen 5. So they're both the shorter slide than the 17. So it's Glock exclusive? It's Glock exclusive. Okay. Uh, but what that does is it extends it to the length of a 17. So you can use all Glock 17 holsters. Wow. So pretty much any Glock 17 holster will take this gun, but you have to pretty much have a 19 or some kind of 19 level slide in order to put it on. Yep, because it won't do it with, you know, you can't put this on a 17. Awesome. We got a couple of holsters here. All of them happen to be by Alien Gear. They're all just holsters that Ed owns. Um, and a couple of them that we use for work, right? Yep, this, this is my work holster. So that's the Alien Gear 3, Le 3 Le Retention Level yep. 3 or whatever. Duty holster. Yeah, and it's for a Glock 17, right? It is. And it, it'll fit the, the radius. Fits it perfectly. Wow, check that out. No issues. Yeah. All comes out just like that. And you have this really cool one here. This is a uh, this is the Photon by Alien Gear. This is their appendix or something like that, yep. right? And that's also for Glock 17. This is for Glock 17, and that fits perfectly fine just like that, too. That's a really nice fit and finish on that. And that, that could be appendix, outside the waistband. Any of those. Any of those. They come with all the pieces because you can see the holes on this side. Yeah. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Same holes on the other side. Same holes on the other side, so it works either way yep. that you want. And then we got this one. This one, we, you did have to modify the I did. That, that's for a Glock 19, and it's a level 2 retention. So they're trying to go after the Safari Land ALS with that. Exactly. Right? But if, if you just, what, you just, like, milled out a little bit down I here? I just cut off the lip. Just cut off the lip. And that, and see, it sticks out a little bit there, but that fits perfectly fine, too. That's a little bit of a thing, guys. With all your gear, you got to make it work for you. But for the most part, I mean, it's all... It all works. Exactly. And I did that because if I'm carrying outside the waistband, I want some type of retention. Absolutely. Yeah, that's not a problem at all. Talked earlier about being able to get back on sites faster with the red dot. And I think that's the most important part for viewers. One thing I found shooting this today was that because there's a lot of weight on it, it tends to recoil nicely and come back on target mm -hmm. really fast. But that extra weight um, can, can also still be a problem for recoil management. You got to get up on that gun a lot. Um, the weight can be an issue. I'm very used to shooting the Glock. I carry it on on, uh, on, on my job. Um, we've carried it at multiple agencies. And so the transferability of being able just to put this on a Glock platform and be able to to um, to shoot it uh, with that old familiar feel is really nice. And, and you know, for me, that if I'm carrying a gun for work, mm -hmm. I want to carry as similar of a gun off duty too. Absolutely. That yeah. way, you know, I'm, it's familiar to me. And there's no difference in my draw strokes, my the feel. I know we didn't do any nighttime shooting today, but do you see a lot of uh, a glow in the no. night when you shoot it? No, nope, it's not noticeable. Yeah. I, I've, I've read that too online where people say, oh, your night vision's going to be gone. It's not. Yeah, I don't think so either. And you also know. when you're playing with white light and you end up throwing that white light out there, because yep. um, you should be, if you're carrying sights, you should have lights as well on your gun. Um, I think that that's that's really a mute point at this point, or a moot point. The flash isn't any more noticeable yeah. than a non -point. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Took some time getting it, but that's the Radiant Ramjet for you. I hope you got something from that video. Guys, if you did, be sure to like and subscribe. Hit down in the comments for us. Leave us a comment. We're always glad when you do that. Look us up on Facebook or on Instagram at forwarddefenseconcepts.com for all your training needs. We're always putting out content. Ed, Thank you for coming out again today, for joining me. It's always a pleasure having you. Thank you for having me again. Not a problem, it's man. It's fun to do. Yeah, absolutely. We'll be doing it again soon. Guys, get out there. Train. Train hard. Be safe. We'll see you on the range.